unahitaji kujitamani relative density by using Archimedes principle unakuwa umepewa factors mbili ambazo one of them is weight of an object in air and the second is weight of an object in liquids so we are just looking for a density of the substance and the relative density of the substance from this one tunakuwa na kitu ambacho kinaitwa weight in air weight in, in air alafu na weight of an object in liquids au in water kwa kutoka hapa weight in air that is w1 is equal to 60 newton and then weight in water that is w2 that is equal to 40 newton this is what i have therefore the question is to determine relative density which is equal now to what and the second is to determine density of the substance which is equal to what kwa hiyo ili uweze kudetermine relative density na density lazima uanze na relative density of the substance kwa kutumia principle ya kwamba relative density is equal now to w1 over w1 minus w2 maana it is weight of an object in air over a plastic so this is the formula that is definitely used to determine what we call it relative density kwa kwa kutumia hii hapa kanuni tunaweza tukadetermine relative density where this is there and this also is there now kwa kutumia hii hapa relative density is equal now to w1 over w1 minus w2 now which is equal now w1 is 60 newton and w1 is 60 newton minus w2 which is equal now to 40 newton now by using this principle we can determine what we call it relative density mathematically now this is 60 newton over this man and this one is 20 newton and therefore relative density is equal now to 60 divided by 20 which now is equal now to 3 so by using this concept we can definitely determine what we call it relative density and relative density has no unit it is because we can cancel this one and this can be cancelled now the relative density which is the first question is it determines by using this concept but what if now we are looking for a density of the substance from relative density is equal now to density of substance over density of water but density of water is a constant 1 gram per centimeter cubic kwa sababu density ya maji ni constant sasa the relative density tumeshapata kwa kinachokosekana sasa ni huyu hapa ikiwa density ya maji tumepata ambao ni constant alafu relative density tumefanya hapa tumeipata kwa what next tuna substitute what is missing au tunafanya tu closing multiplication tuna close multiplication ambapo tutasema density of substance is equal now to relative density times density of water ambao relative density ni 3 times density of water ambao ni 1 gram per centimeter cubic ambao sasa kumbe density of substance it is 3 gram per centimeter cubic what if umepewa gram of water i mean density ya maji ni 1000 ambao ni kg per meter cubic kwa maana hiyo kumbe hii ingekuwa sawa sawa na hii mara 1000 ambao ni 3000 that is kg per meter cubic kwa hiyo kwa kutumia Archimedes principle tunaweza tukadetermine relative density of the substance na baada ya kupata relative density of the substance tunatumia hii hapa kanuni sasa kudetermine density of the substance ambayo ni concept ya kutoka kwa relative density ambayo ni comparison between density of water and density of substance kwa maana hiyo kwa kutumia hii principle ni muhimu sasa tukaelewa kwamba ni namna ambapo tuna solve kwa hivi ndivyo ambapo nimesema kama umepewa weight of an object in air and weight of an object in water we can use this one to determine the relative density and the formula here it is then after we have that relative density what next is how to determine the density of the substance from the principle that relative density is equal to density of substance over density of water now substituting what is given in which data density of water is definitely constant and this is what we can do so this is how we can determine relative density of the substance and density of the substance by using Archimedes principle 
or by using the weight of an object in air and weight of an object in water. So that is how now definitely we can determine it.